Dan Hut, Commanding Officer Madman on deck. Hey everybody, what's up? Madman here, welcome back to Let's Play XCOM, Enemy Unknown. And how was all and how was everybody's holiday weekend? Hope it was fun well technically, uh well I'm recording this on Saturday, but yeah, <laughs> holiday season is almost over, unfortunately. And also tonight on on Toonami, it's actually it's the end of movie month here on Toonami. And tonight we're polishing off the month with uh Neo Genesis Evangelion. I hope I think I pronounced it right. Evangelion. Yeah, yeah. There we go. With 1.11 and 2.22. Okay, seriously. I mean, I can understand the one and the two part, but they really have to make it 0.11 and 0.22. Either way. So yeah, I wonder if man, if XCOM ever probably XCOM would probably be called in on when uh, Angels ever hit, you know, touched ground, you know, boots on the ground on. Yeah, XCOM would definitely help before Nerve. All right, enough of that. All right, let's see. Upcoming events. Seven, uh, Harvest Shiv will be ready in seven days, including our council report, as well as a fusion lance. That's going to be nice to see. Oh. All right. Uh, okay, I don't know why I pushed that button, so that's a little... Actually, um, also, we are actually running out of room, actually, for our satellite, so... You know, let's get a satellite going so we can actually get another, well, obviously, another satellite up in the air. Ooh, if we do a satellite nexus, that would be good. But, you know, we're getting kind of close, so we'll just build a, one satellite nexus. I mean, one satellite uplink. And plus, because it's also connected to this one, we'll get a boost from it. All right. All right, who's, uh, who's back in... Um, Oh, yeah, I was going to say, well, Mr. Dil Dylan Kennedy, first of all, let's give you some new armor, a new sniper rifle, and how's your site, 81? Well, congratulations, you've been upgraded to 91, as well as we're giving you a new helmet. Because you're now the new apprentice of, of Hell Assassin. Death's head. Hell assassin, I'm putting demon in your hands. Alright. Yeah, any sniper we get for our team it will automatically go under Hell Assassin since let's face it, he is the He's the master of the sniper rifle at this point in this game. Oh yeah, we got a UFO landing I forgot about. <laughs> Alright. And it's in India too. <laughs> Fun little fact, I actually just started playing Far Cry 4 last night. Uh, and now everything associated with India is just popping up out of nowhere. I mean, on TV and everything. It's just TV, video games now, it's just going crazy. Oh, then again, it is one of the largest populated countries in the world, so. Hmm. But, let's see, we still have an unidentified UFO class, so. Let's send our boys to India. Okay, we got Bakersfield. We have DJ, Hell Assassin, of course. Arlo, you're coming. Sentinel. You know what? Let's. How's our. Oh, yeah, our Goliath is fucked up. Mason is still wounded. Soto is still in the infirmary. I don't want to bring anyone new with us because. This, let's just face it. This is one of the missions that you don't want to bring anyone new. Let's see. You know what? Demon, you're coming with us. Hell Assassin, show him the ropes. All right, everybody, let's roll out. Touching down. The area of engagement for this mission will be in India. Reports indicate the UFO is set down in a sparsely populated area. We need to stay sharp and eliminate the invaders. All right. Operation Crystal Days. Hmm. Days and confuse. All right. UFO landing site, India. Satellite data indicates a UFO has touched down. High probability of enemy operation in progress. Expect to fa face a full complement of enemy crew. 
Locate and neutralize all enemy forces. Locate and gain entry to the UFO. Uh, it looks like they landed in a box canyon. Well, it's one UFO in a box canyon. I mean, it, let, let's face it. If there were two military bases from two separate opposing forces in a box canyon, let's just face it. That would just be the dumbest military move of the, to all time. I mean, think about it. If there's two military bases in a box canyon, and the other force pulls out that day, and the other force moves in and takes over that base, so they'll have two bases, and then we'll have a box canyon. whoop dee fucking do Oh, well. I mean, come on. You gotta, you gotta be a pretty stupid superior officer to do a move like that. All right. Anyway, Operation Crystal Days is a go. Huh. This is Big Sky. We're in position near the enemy LZ. Strike one is ready to move on your orders. I read you, Big Sky. This was a landing, not a crash. So expect heavy resistance. Okay, um, quick question. Where's the alien UFO? I mean, is it? Oh, yeah, it's this thing right here. Okay, some jokes I can write that are good and some I can't. Alright, everybody get in the position. Man, there's not really a lot of cover. On it. Looks to be a supply ship of some kind, and the potential storage capacity is enormous. If the aliens are really attempting to bring in this much outside material, it can only mean they're ramping up the scale of the invasion. That doesn't Ready sound good. Hmm. I don't want to do any dashes yet because who knows what we'll find in there. You know what? Double time. Oh, thank God. Whew. Let's do this. Enemy in sight. Damn it! Commanding officers, shite. Uh, uh huh. Okay, so that wasn't a mine attack. Talk about mind games. Son of a bitch. It did. Deal with it. Well, right now, well, right now we gotta deal with sh something. All right, hold on a second. Hmm. Well, I really don't want to do this. You know what? This would actually do a lot of. Let's see, six damage. Oh, that wouldn't do shit to them. Well, you know what? It's better than nothing. Uh, what the fuck? Um. Uh, what the? Uh, what the? What the? What the? What? 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 what um. Well, viewers, I do believe my pants are full. Uh. Uh. Hmm. Okay. Maybe this wouldn't be a bad time for a possible retreat. What the fuck, man? Okay, you know what? No, no, no. Hell Assassin has the opportunity. You can take up the three shots. Game. 
What? No! Shit! I. Ah! Ah! God damn it. Fuck! Oh well, shit happens. We gotta get him out of there. On Overwatch. Roger that. Scanning. Affirmative. Covering now. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. That was two moves. He can't make another move. Okay, you know what? We don't have much of a choice. We're outgunned, and we freaking I saw freaking mechanical walkers in there. Not much of a choice. Headed there now. On the move. I had no choice, viewers. We had freaking mechanical walkers in there. There were four of them. This mission was bad from the start. I should have. <sighs> Hell Assassin and Kennedy. They're gonna be inferring for a couple days. Everyone else is fine. Who am I kidding? The only person who really got hurt here. Uh Sentinel. Uh, I don't blame you, Hell Assassin. You thought of the you thought of the team. The only other KI here is my pride. Shit. Man. Council's gonna rip me a new one. Fuck. Oh well. We have to press on. Incoming transfer. 
transmission. Oh boy, this is this is gonna be fun. Man, they're gonna rip into me like a table saw. We are extremely impressed with the progress of the XCOM project thus far, Commander. Your recent results were beyond our expectations. And that is not a statement this council makes lightly. Well, hmm. Apparently the council just has a really, really easy way of breaking bad news to a person. <laughs> Okay, so XCOM activity. One council mission completed, abductions, one abduction stopped, six research projects completed, and one UFO raided. Okay, so India did jump up a bit, but we can still recover from that. Everyone up. So, okay, we need to focus on Egypt next. Oh, then, uh, whoop, uh, hit the microphone with my foot. And we got a grade of A. We got 645 credits, three scientists, and six engineers. Remember, we will be watching. And again, that's not comforting. All right, let's see this new hover shift. <laughs> it's a boy. No, I'm kidding. All right, so yep, we got a hover shift now. Look at that thing. The new engineers arrived this morning, Commander. We're always glad to have more help down here. Uh, good. Does I want everybody to have some new armor? Alright. Hmm, I don't know. What would be better? Get everyone some angel armor or some titan armor? While firing immunity to fire and toxins. You know what? Let's get a couple of these. There we go. I gotta admit, from a retreat. Yeah, I should have mentioned that. Yeah, there is a way that you can actually abort a mission with. Uh, it'll still count as. It, it was a mission aborted, but you saw the stats and everything. But yeah, so yeah, panic does go up, but it's kind of like one of those things that you do, do not need to call. I, you guys saw that back there. You saw all those. How many, all those damage things. They had some serious mechs back there, man. And let's put it this way I'd rather retreat than have all my teams slaughtered. All right. It's just one of those tough calls you need to make when you're commanding officer. All right, and this I got to see. All right. Research report. Codename Godfinger. Okay, I think the guy who comes up with cool code names must have been on vacation. October 2015. Fusion Lance. This weapon is among the most powerful we've recovered from the aliens, and we've already seen evidence of a devastating effect against our own aircraft. Unfortunately, it was clearly designed for much larger craft and with greater payload capacity than anything we've currently available. Well, good thing I bought that, had them research that other spacecraft first. In order to adapt the mechanism for use on our own ships, we had to redesign the integrate power and cooling systems in a much smaller form factor. If we do manage to successfully deploy this weapon, I have no doubt we will finally level the playing field with the aliens in terms of air superiority. Good. Godfinger? Really? Seriously? That's the name they came up with? Okay, Finger of God? See, that would have been more intimidating. Fusion Lance is the most powerful anti-aircraft weapon currently available to XCOM. It should be capable of taking down a UFO by engaging by the Firestorm. So in other words, we gotta buy the Firestorm, and then we got see, see, you gotta read the fine print, people. We gotta build, buy the Firestorm first before we can buy that weapon. You always gotta read the fine print, especially on a mortgage or cell phone contract. Remember that. All right, guided fusion lancer. Seriously, what is this? The EMP cannon. Hmm. We can we conceived a weapon capable of designing disabling electronic systems without destroying them. If we equip our interceptors with technology, well. We, while also shielding them from overall effect, this could greatly impart of recovering alien. Ah, uh, no, 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 no. Guided fusion lancer. We've used using what we've learned from advanced weaponry on board you at larger UFO. We should be able to launch her with uniquely explosive power shell. There, I that's what I want to see. Your efforts to support the research team, Commander. I've already put the new recruits to work in the lab. That's good. That's good. You know what? Hold on a second. I want to see the new. Uh, Lightning. <laughs> Look at that little thing. That thing is awesome. So it's got... Oh my god. Holy shit. This thing is a game changer. And wait, wait, wait. Does that thing have a lightning... Oh. 
Yeah, suddenly my uh, confidence has just jumped right back up. Like, God knows I'm not going to hear the end of it from Hell Assassin. Oh well, I gave him a new chapter for the book. He should be thanking me. Woo! Spin the earth. Hey, I didn't even know you can actually move this thing with. Alright. Alright, let's get another uh, UFO being built. Alright, uh, yeah, let's. How long it takes to get one of these things? 20 days? Well. How long does it take to get one of these things? 14 days. Uh, you know what? Just get a satellite up. We just... We just built that. Alright. And also, and also, I didn't know that. You can actually move this when you're scanning for activity. I don't think it does anything, but... Oh, well. Alright, this I gotta see. Alright. Re research report. Codename. Tongue... Tunguska, Tunguska, whatever. Blaster launcher available for manufacture. Although I was skeptic as to the merits of assembling another weapon based on our traditional methods, namely large rockets carrying heavy payloads of explosives, we have made some interesting discoveries during our testing. Our prototype, the cleverly named Blaster Launcher, has been surprisingly effective in penetrating the aliens' seemingly unassailable armor plating. We've also improved the integrated targeting module by implementing a several design improvements observed in alien weapons. As a result, these rockets are capable of guiding themselves. Sweet. Even when fired from an obscure line, we I believe there's still room to hone from this weapon's I believe there's still room for us to hone this weapon's capabilities further, but it should be safe to begin manufacturing. See if it so we got our new rocket launcher. Oh, this is gonna change the playing field. By integrating components by, from the advanced alien navigation system we can Fire self-guiding rockets capable of navigating to the intended target without direct line of sight. Nice! Damage output has also been significantly improved through the use of Alien Fusion Core. And since I know by researching this, we're going to get into the next act, which means we'll get more heavy shit thrown at us. Research the EMP can. Okay, this I gotta see. I gotta see these new rocket launchers. Alright, where is this thing? Oh, don't tell me it's under... Oh, let me guess. It's the, uh... No, it's not for the ships. There it is! I went right past it. 230... Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Um... Hmm. You know what? Let's... You know what? Let's just buy... We'll just buy one, and then we'll... I'll give it to Arlo1024. He know. He knows what he's doing. Alright. Congratulations. This is gonna be interesting to see. Speaking of which Alright, he's assault, he's assault. You know what? Mason. There you go. That should definitely give you a change at the playing field. You know what? Let's change that helmet. That actually... There we go. Or maybe... Oh yeah, that actually looks a lot better. It actually matches very good. And let's see, who else? And TJ's got the flying armor. Alright. Alright, let's get another mission going. Alright, three alloy cannons. Requests from the United Kingdom. Defense co contractors from the United Kingdom have contacted us, hoping, uh, hoping to gather intelligence from our alloy cannons. They are likely attempting to retrofit some of their existing weapons with technology, with this technology, giving them the better range and efficiency if we agree that they'll be prepared for. Oh, they are really gonna. Well, then again, they are contractors. Uh, how much? It, well, right now we got $93. Why couldn't they contact our. Alright, how much is those alloy cannons? Ah, uh, damn. How long is it? Wait a second. Hold on a second. You know what? Oh, 
Okay, yeah, that makes it 50. Yeah, that'll make it 50. You know what? We don't need a satellite right now. But that won't be enough to actually get more than enough. My other question is, how long is that... How long is that order going to be lasting? 480... 480 hours. Well, we got one from Bakersfield. I mean, I'm pretty sure he'd be happy to give his up, so we just need two more. 480 hours. How much is that? Let's see. There's 24 hours a day, so... so da, 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 da. Hmm... Carry on. All right. How many hours was that? Oh, jeez, half of that. Uh, uh. All right. You know what? Hell assassin, I really hate to do this to you, man. I mean, not hell assassin, Bakersfield. I hate to do this to you, man. Commander but. Commander to the research labs. Commander to the research labs. Yeah, I heard you. Actually, I think the plasma rifle will actually do more. Actually, make it 99, so actually that will actually... Okay, so we got one. Yeah, what? Oh, no, duh. No. All right, codename report. Codename, Ion, October 2015. A developing an electromagnetic weapon capable of emitting a focused pulse that would penetrate aliens' advanced shielding. We've also had the any means to protect our own ship's sensitivity electronic circuitry. Ship sensitive electronic circuitry. The functionality of the weapon itself has already been well established by previous testing conducted by Earth's various terrestrial military forces. Forces, leaving us with little to determine outside of the energy requirements and effective range. Although the additional shielding required to protect our own ship system with the necessary reconfiguration of the ship's hard points for the weapon's mount, I expect the engineering team will have no trouble fitting the device into position. If our pilots can successfully deploy the pulse against alien craft, we should be able to bring down a UFO with minimum damage to air. Screw that, man. If we bring them down, I mean, if we bring them down, I know what's going to happen. There's going to be a shit ton of those. Well, it depends on the size of the ship, too, I guess. All right, but let's see. So we have one alloy. Still not enough. Still not enough. Damn. All right, you know what? You know what? Let's keep it with the plasma pistol. That actually will help him a bit. So 11 days. Oh, and that's when the council report goes to. Damn, this game, man, this game just likes kicking us when we're down. Commander, you should take a look at this. We've just detected a massive new contact. We're picking up an enormous power signature. Whatever it is, it must be fully loaded. We should expect heavy resistance. Yeah, right now our ships aren't even enough to bring those down. We'd be wasting a ship. Ignore it. Commander, by ignoring these UFO contacts, we're putting our entire satellite network at risk. I know. God, man. Man, India is going to hate me. Commander, we've picked up multiple requests for assistance. Abductions in progress are marked on the hollow globe. All right. Well, right now, we can't afford to lose China. We cannot afford to lose Asia. Especially China, since it's one of the biggest countries on the face of the Earth. One of. Plus, but hopefully this will help lower the panic across Asia, especially right now since India is hating our guts. <sighs> All right, we're going to China, because I know it's what Pen Sentinel would have wanted. Mario, again, we don't need you for this mission. I got a different person in mind. <laughs> Look at this little guy. I can't wait to see the aliens try and fight us with this thing. All right. All right. DJ, you've been good for us, but we need you to be packing some first aid kits. All right, Hell Assassin, you got that. Our scope. You got that kit. All right. Whoop. Wait, no, no. Wrong button. Oh, man. <laughs> All right. Deep breaths. Regain composure. Alright, well, depending on where we go, maybe having two snipers might not be a bet. No, we don't need another sniper for this one. Well, we got Zeta. And she's our medic. Wait, no. Okay, first of all, you know what? There we go. 
All right. Her aim is at that already. Hmm. Maybe giving her an arc thrower. Or you know what? You know what? Yeah, let's go with that. All right. All right, team. Let's roll out. Seriously, what is with Crystal and XCOM? All right. Operation Crystal Line. Alien abductions in, I can't even pronounce that to save my skin, China. Mission brief, alien abduction in progress. Site is clear of civilians and multiple hostile elements are present. Collateral damage is not a concern. Mission objectives, sweep the abduction site and identify threats. Neutralize all hostile targets. All right. Operation Crystal Line is a go. 